This is Peter Gleason from Victoria, Australia, in his water tank. How long has this man been in this tank? You can see his hair and his beard are so long. Long enough to realize he can make big waves. I am not sure whether these waves are powered purely by the majesty of his beard or whether it's just simple physics. So, do majestic beards make magnificent waves or is there a more scientific explanation? Essentially, Peter has created a standing wave. He makes one splash right in the middle that ripples out as a circular wave. It then hits the circular wall all at the same time, gets reflected back in unison, and all converges right back in the middle. So what you see is an oscillation between peak trough, peak trough, and that's how he keeps building the energy in his system. The thing that he is doing brilliantly is getting the timing right. He's moving up and down in time with the waves, so he's causing it to resonate. So he waits until exactly when the wave lifts him up, and then he pushes down again. And gradually, through this process of resonance, he's building up a bigger and bigger standing wave. Yes, Peter's homemade wave machine is an outstanding scientific experiment. But it's also a valuable lesson for any circular water tank escape artist. If I'm stuck in a circular tank and there's a hole in the top and I can't reach it, that's what I should do. I should push up and down on the water until it forces me up out through the top. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to escape.